celebrations like these have lifted my spirits. Thank you. Presenting the court composer, the Horatio Thalanis Ignatius Cristasis Sebastian. Well, we'll be waiting for it. Let the festivities begin. Yank and you go. You're what they call the 
earbuds are what you use to make folks dance. Give it a blow and then voila! Wonderful stuff that you can stop if you're a bum of you can stop. Heaven knows it's where the pros for much get no guff. And once you got a who's my jig, what? Oh, what all you need to bring you up to snuff. With proper dingle hopper groom and just to show your look for you and we know because we know you mean stuff. Makes music the likes of which you never heard. Oh no, the concert! But how did you tell me? The concert was today? I completely forgot. Come on, Flander. Thank you, Sarah. Anytime, sweets, anytime. of the sea. Oh, beauty of the brine. Hail to the sea witch. Hail to Ursula. Flops on my pet, jets on my darling. Come to me, my little sea spy. Mama's been feeling woe be gone, banished to the nether regions of the sea. No food, hardly any company. I'm simply wasting away. Poor Ursula. Yes, poor me. What news do you have? King Crazy and the Merfolk are celebrating your and he blames you for the queen's demise. Of course he does. Use a little black magic to help out your merfolk, and this is the thanks I get. Well, it's time to turn the tides on, Triton. We just need to find his Achilles heel, or we can start crack his armor. Well, the king is terribly devoted to his daughters. Especially the youngest with the beautiful voice. Oh, yes, but she missed the celebration. Hmm, apparently Ariel takes her gift for granted, just like her mother did. A woman doesn't know how precious her voice is until she's been silenced. Silence. You two go find out what she really wants and lure her here to my lair. I'll whip up a little spell to make her dreams come true. And then, my dear? Yes? Yeah. The triton, the crown, the throne will all be mine. Give them any, and they swim 
supreme lord over you. I can govern a kingdom, but I can't control my own daughter. Maybe I was too harsh. Nonsense, sir. If you ask me, you haven't been tough enough. I haven't? You only use constant supervision. So much to watch over her. He'd keep her out of trouble. That's not a bad idea. I see. And you are just the crowd to do it. What? You heard me. Now on Errol is your responsibility. Fine. But your highness, she's a clever mermaid. I'm just a crustacean. Surely you ought to pick someone higher on the evolutionary ladder. <laughs> Is better than anything they got up there. Cause she really is always green now. 
Somebody says Lee. We dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world of you, but you're on the ocean floor. That wonderful thing around you, what more is you looking for? And at us, and at us, darling, it's better. Tell me where it's better. Take it from me. Up on the shore, they work all day. Out in the sun, they slave away. Worry the boat, a full time to float in Ananas. Don't you all the fishes have me? Talk to the fish, they go. The fish on the land ain't happy. They sat first in the boat. The fish in the boat is lucky. They don't go to worse their fate. When they win, the boss gets hungry. Guess who gon' be on the fish? Uh oh, Ananas. We want that that folks love to cook under the theory of the hook. We got no troubles, life is the battles under the sea. Don't you play the flute, the car play, the hack, the place play, the bass, the bass, sound, the truck, the brass, spray, the pass, the drum, play, the one, the flute, get the beat, go slow. The rain, he can play, the bass, on the shades, the truck, rocking on the black fish, he sings, so slow, and he's packing over his hat. Under the sea, when the sardine begin to begin, it's music to me. What do they got? A lot of sand. We got a happy station band. Each little sound, you know how to bear. Yeah, that's why it's hard to under the water. Yeah, we are lucky down in the market. Under the sea. See, Joe, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Ariel? Hello? Oh, somebody's gone now that goes fins to the floor. sworn oath to your dear father on his deathbed that I turn you from a vowed about into a royal and have you married to a princess <gasps> by your next birthday, which is now just three days away. Did you ever see Six <coughs> Princess Sailing? Ah, it's a joke. Their dresses get caught in the rigging and most of them can't even swim. You know there's more to a woman than her flutter pig. A kingdom needs a queen. Where am I going to find her, Grim? See, a girl who's as carefree and alive as the sea itself? Where? Wow. It's too much to hope for, isn't it? Somewhere out there, a girl who's a match for a guy like me? Perhaps you're not looking hard enough. I've never seen a human this close before. Me neither. Shh. I thought you were an expert. On their stuff, sure. Yikes, yeah, excited about seeing it, ain't it? Time to go. I'm really new. 
Trust me, Grimsby, when I come across the girl of my dreams, it'll hit me like lightning. Bend the hatches, then everyone below deck, and quickly! Whoa, the wind's on the move here. Careful, not all. There we go. Good heavens. Took a terrible tumble, dear boy. That voice, I can't get it out of my head. Come with me. A night of sleep, and you'll be good as new. I must find her and thank her for saving my life. You've heard too many tall tales, my boy. No, she was real. Of course she was. She was a girl with a million on the wall.
me? You know, Ariel, this is, well, it's anybody. Who's the lucky mermaid? Gee, I don't know. I didn't even know it was love until the second chorus. Sebastian, any ideas? I tried to stop us off, but she doesn't listen. I tell her, Eric, got to stay away from those humans. They're nothing but trouble. Humans? What about humans? Who said anything about humans? Have you been keeping secrets from me? Where is that girl? Human junk. No treasure. Did you save a human from drowning? He would have died. That savage brute could have killed you, and it's my job to keep you safe from harm. But he didn't frighten me. He made me feel wonderful. Besides, I'm not a child anymore. Well, you're certainly talking like one. He's a human. You're a mermaid. It doesn't matter. You don't understand. I wish Mother were here. Ariel, listen. I miss your mother just as much as you do. But I am still the king, and you are never to go to the surface ever again. Am I clear? trying to protect her, Sebastian. So will be all right, sir. Just give her some time. I hate him. Ariel, don't It's good for you to not to be spilling everything. I couldn't help it. You have my claws and a clown. I don't need you. I don't need any of you. Go away. I said go away. I don't belong here. That's a very serious problem, hasn't she? Who will eat the living one? Who will help her get her man? Perhaps, Perhaps the sea witch can. Sure. How did you? She's been dying to help you. <laughs> Ursula, help me. Oh, yes, but you can't leave her there. Then take me to her. Of course. Of course. Here and I see he's 
driven you away too? He doesn't understand. Oh, but I do, darling. We're so very alike, you and I. Girls with ambition. Now tell me absolutely everything. I'm in love with a prince. A human. A prince, I hear. Quite a catch. Well, the answer is simple. You've got to become a human yourself. Can you do that? My dear sweet child, it's what I live for. Self-unfortunate miracles like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't hurting when they called me well a witch. But you'll find it nowadays. I did it all my way. Repent the tears that lied and made a switch. True? Yes. And unfortunately, no other than that you say. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And you lazy folks don't laugh. Hi, Ariel. Wait, there's something different about you. It's your hairdo, right? You've been using the dingle hopper. 
Nah, can't quite put my foot in it right now. She's got it legs, you idiot. Ariel traded her voice to the sea witch to become human. Nah, kid, not your beautiful pipes. You see, not a sound. What would her mama say? I'll tell her what he'd say. This day's gonna come up a grub. That's what he'd say. And now she's got three days to get the prince to fall in love with her. And to prove it, he has to kiss her. The prince will, I'll say. Attention, attention, the menu, pussies are, escargot, lobster bisque, tuna tartare, holy mackerel, mint it up! The things I do for that girl, over the wall, under the garden, in through the window, now finally, someplace that's safe. Uh-oh. <laughs> les poissons, les poissons, how I love les poissons, love to chop! To serve little fish. First I cut off their heads, then I pull out the bones. Ah, mais oui, ça c'est toujours delish. Les poissons, les poissons, hee hee hee, ho ho ho. With the cleaver I hack them in two. I pull out what's inside and I serve it up fried. God, I love little fishes, don't you? Here's something for tempting the palate. Prepared in the classic technique. First you pound the fish flat with the mallet. Then you slash through the skin, give the belly a slice. Then you rub some salt in, cause that makes it taste nuts. Les poissons, les poissons, oh la la, here they are. Say bonjour to our friends from the sea. It's a fish, how you say, jamboree. If it's gilled, it's and grilled to a tea. Fish lightly toasted and roasted and steamed. Tossed in the blender and tenderly creamed. Dish after dish like you'd wish to have dreamed. Just a lot. I have missed one. Come here, you little bastard! It must have been a horrible shipwreck. I don't suppose we're never really screwed. My poor dear, you couldn't even speak. Well, never mind that. You'll have beautiful and subscribing pipes ever since the days when you feel for me frost. Well, now I'm the one who's speechless. It's been a while since you've dined in the company of such a lovely man. 
Usually it's just me and Jay. You gotta look across the table at my ugly mug. The fact that anyone could wonder, a Mr. Yes is groom for a groom, you might say. He has no voice. Tell me she's fond of pipes. I can't say I blame her. That's an antique from Gutterborn. Sorry, old friend, but it looks like your pipe smoked you. Yes, yes, very amusing. She certainly knows how to make you smile. Come on, then, sir. You and me will look at that. You should see the princess in that Grimsby Jack for dinner. So prim, so boring, so new. So, if you don't mind me asking, what was it? An accident when you were small? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. Who needs words anyway? A smile says just as much sometimes. You're nimble on your feet, aren't you? Well, dancing beats small talk any day. It's the way your legs smile. Relax, it lets you say so many things. Dancing is the language that is sung instead of her. things I do for you, young lady. Now, I shall march you right back home to your father so you can be miserable for the rest of your life. It's true, I go no back home, but we gotta get that boy to kiss you before it's too late. Now, a couple of tips from my clever clap to a little mermaid. First, you bite your eyes like this. <laughs> then you pucker your lips like this. <laughs> Now put those two things together and you got that boy right in the palm of your hand.
back anyway. Gotta rest up for my birthday tomorrow. Old Grimsy's planning a ball to help me find the girl with that voice. He wants me married by sunset, or else. Ariel, dearest, I can't believe it's three whole days of your ride. It's been such a treat. Now, the princesses are arriving for Prince Eric's to find his bride. You just stand back here with Carlotta while the royals mingle. It's sure to be quite a show. Welcome, your friends, to our contest. The first that our kingdom has ever seen. We gather today for vocal respect so that our prince may at last choose a queen. These six princesses possess the most astounding voices in the land. Tonight, one of you will join Prince Eric on the throne. May the best woman win. Listen to me. Don't I sound rich? Loud in my mind. Plus I've got perfect fit. Choose a mate. Ariel? Good heavens, child. Okay, Go ahead, Ariel. <laughs> oh, Prince Eric, I had so hoped you'd find love in this world. I have, Grimsby. I've just been too blind to see it. Until now. Can it be another contestant? Merciful Trident. Where have you been, Sebastian? And where is Ariel? Oh, she'd be so angry as you know I was here. I entrust my youngest daughter to you, and what happens? She disappears. I'd love to have you cracked in shells. You almost was, Your Greatness. What kind of tragedy will it take? A tragedy involving a sea witch. What? Don't fear, Dubby. Don't fear, Dubby. You see, Your Majesty, these two slippery eels came and took Ariel to Ursula. And she traded her voice for a pair of legs. She bartered away her voice to become a human? Yes, and now that child has given up her very soul. Oh, Ariel, what have you done? Come, we must save my daughter. Ursula! King Trident, you're right on cue! What have you done to my daughter? Now 
nothing. She's done it all to herself, trading her voices for what even a heartbreak. Give her back to me. Not on your life. Remember, when he's a surf or a knight, he feels a tingle of salt in the air. It's only his father checking in on his little girl. Ariel, who are you? I'm her father, King Trident, and you're the human who came to her rescue. With all due respect, sir, Ariel's the one who's done the rescuing. The king of the sea, and she's his daughter? Does that upset you? By heaven's no, I'm just going to achieve royalty. Your Majesty, at last, I found someone who makes me eager to seize the future and claim my birthright as king. But if I slip out to sea sometime, I hope she'll be right there beside me. May I have her hand? Ariel can see for herself. She can? Thank you. 
amazing show. Oh my goodness, wow. I don't know that I could uh, stop smiling at all the rest of this weekend or on into the uh, next week. And well, it's just gonna take us on into spring break. Wow, that was an amazing performance. And it is just what a Broadway show does, right? It takes you through all of the, the fun emotions and they bring you into the show. Wow, wow, wow. And they were sixth graders, wow. So impressive, so proud um, to serve as the principal here at Marymount Elementary School. Um, this is what I get to do all day long is, is walk around very proudly and just smile all day long, most of the day. <laughs> um, just super proud of our sixth graders and all of their hard work. Thank you to all of you um, for your incredible support. Um, for trusting us each and every day with your children. Um, they come to us talented and then we get to just continue to pour into them. And one such um, amazing music teacher, play director, um, just wears so many hats um, that we want to say thank you to for stepping into the play director role and that would be Mrs. Faith Mott. We have um, flowers for Mrs. Mott on behalf of our sixth grade play committee um, and our PTO and just on behalf of all of us. Uh, Mrs. Mott um, works with our students kindergarten through fourth grade, building a strong musical foundation, but she also works with our band students um, and every concert that we have and that also our band has at the high school, you'll see Mrs. Mott right there. Um, so she works tirelessly um, during the day and then after school, and she has two little ones at home as well. So um, just thank you so much, Mrs. Mott. Thank you again to our sixth graders. Outstanding job. We also want to thank our um, sixth grade parent play committee. We, all, we had a number of parents working hard as well, building sets, helping with the costumes and designs, decorating the hallways last night in the sixth grade hall. I wish you could have seen the hallway. Um, the students walked through the red carpet this morning. Just an amazing experience for our students. Again, thank you so much for coming. I, I could probably stand here and talk all night because I don't want it to end. Um, but I'm sure you want to shower um, your um, sixth graders with lots of love, appreciation, flowers, um, food, shout outs. shout outs, yes, whatever that may be. So thank you so much for coming this evening. We hope that you have a great rest of the day. Have a good night.